So way, way back in 1980, my family moved to Bemidji. Uh, <clears throat> and we moved into that house right over there. The land was, it took in the whole point that goes out there and this area. I'm back in 86 when my dad died. Uh, my mom decided to, I don't know if it was 86 or 87, when she decided to uh, sell off that part of the property because it was, you know, that's quite a bit to deal with. There's trying to mow that is, you know, you need the, you need the big mower. And she decided that the, the smaller lot was plenty. And this is about two acres. Uh, the riverfront is not very, not very big, but it is, you know, it's a decent size. It's also difficult to mow. <laughs> um, this is not something I'd want to do by hand. Mom had a service. Um, I mean, she used to do it by herself, but I don't know, probably 10 years ago, she decided that it wasn't uh, something she could do anymore and she got a service to do it. I mean, she had renters do it for a while, but... So she had this house built in about 86. Now before that, there was nothing here. There was another house down there. I don't know if, I don't remember if they were there or not. Uh, I know the people across the street weren't. Uh, but there was an old cabin uh, not even a cabin, kind of a shack that was over here on the property. And when I lived over there, um, it was, and this is all pretty much unexplored. And when my dad died, I had very bad nightmares that involved that, uh, involved that shack. Someday I'll tell you about them. But the shack was here. This is the old wood stove that was in it. Um, I don't even know if I can get down here. There's the... I have a marker for it. You can't even read it. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's been gone for a long time. And... It is, <clears throat> I want to clear this up. I managed to do a number on the chainsaw train. Uh, it no longer works. So, I got what I hope is a replacement at the hardware store. Yeah! <laughs> now it does have a nice uh, image here of how to make sure the uh, chain goes. There's this link here and then the chewy link has the uh, the bitey part. All right.
Okay, now if you look here, there's this adjustment pin. And that is attached to this screw. And this should be matching exactly. in that hole because I took it off when it was lined. So now as I turn this, the blade will move forward and tighten this down, taking up the slack. 